We are here at Bricktown Veterinary Hospital, my veterinary hospital, with my good friend, Dr. Adam Christman. Dr. Christman, oh, great to see you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Too. Dr. Christman has written this book, Honey, Have You Squeezed the Dachshund? <laughs> and it all starts with an amazing story about Cosmo. Tell us about Cosmo. So Cosmo was a patient of mine. He's a two-year-old long-haired dachshund, and um, he was basically had IVDD, which stands for intervertebral disc disease. So he was down and paralyzed in his back end, and his owners panicked, just like many owners were, um, and didn't really know what to do. And unfortunately, the timing of certain situations, particularly this issue, uh, is important. And we did have the surgery done for him, and he did end up becoming permanently paralyzed in the back end. So um, his owners were unable to take care of it for whatever means it was, and I decided, you know what, he deserves a second chance. He was only two, you know, right. and he's going on 13 now. So I've had him for, gosh, over almost 11 years now. So, and he's doing great. I have other dachshunds at home. It sounds like I have a menagerie of them, but I really just have three <laughs> and a beagle. And they all get along just fine. And he uh, knows no different. He has wonderful quality of life. He does have a wheelchair. Um, he doesn't really care for it. Some dogs don't like the cart. Cosmo doesn't. So I have a resistance band that I put underneath his little belly. And every morning with the rest of the crew, he goes on out and shimmies along. And he does great. I do have to squeeze his bladder. Hence the name, Honey, Have You Squeezed the Dachshund? That's, so where, it comes that's where it comes from. Uh, because he can't urinate on his own, so uh, we have to squeeze his bladder two to three times a day. So. Now you wanted to make sure that other pet owners and animal lovers knew that there could be success stories out there, and, and that's what the book's about. Tell us about the book. Absolutely. So, Honey, I Squeezed the Docs, and I co-authored it with a great friend of mine, Kristen Ladig Bryan. Um, it's not just for dachshund owners, it's just one of those things that you just assume. But any of the, any dogs from German Shepherds to Cane Corsos, Massives, all the way down to Bichons, Yorkshire Terriers, Chihuahuas, I know you're a Chihuahua owner, uh, dachshunds as well. So anything that has back issues or neck issues, and it's a great read, it's a simple read, but it really helps take away some of that negative stigma that might be associated when your veterinarian tells you, you know what, there's a back injury going on here. And what do I do? Do I need surgery? Do I not need surgery? Do I crate rest? Do I need medications? Do I go for ancillary diagnostics like acupuncture and uh, physical therapy, underwater treadmill? It's all explained in this book and it gives owners a really nice, um, a nice read, a good education, a proper education, mind you, too. And there's great testimonials. We have interviewed uh, several pet owners throughout the country that are in similar situations that have done great, that are paralyzed with, uh, with their dogs, and they have a wonderful quality of life. So Now, people can meet you. Yes. Get this book signed by you. Signed by me. And talk to you all about it at a book signing here at Bricktown Veterinary Hospital. Yes. This coming Sunday, November 6, 12 to 3. Right. So right here at 251 Chambers Ridge Road, Bricktown Veterinary Hospital, our practice here. And um, yeah, well, we have plenty of the books available. They're $15. I'll be happy to sign them for anyone out there. And uh, I'd love to meet anyone, too. It, it, it's great just to interact with the community and just to talk about these issues. And it really it's nice to shed some light on such an important topic. So okay. best of luck with the book. Best of luck with getting people to understand how fulfilling the story yes. can be. Read the book. Yes. Learn more about it. Come visit Dr. Chris. Definitely great. Thank you. Thank so you much. so much. Thank you.